Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. The call log that I use is down, ag down again. So tonight we're going to try something a little bit different. And I'm going to ask everybody to really um, work with me on this because I'm going to try to take calls for everybody and... Um, and I'm going to do it through this thing, one at a time. That's, you guys, that's my dog, Max. Well, he was my dog, Max. Oh, and now he's gone. And he is. Now he's gone. He's 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 home. Um, anyway, um, so, so we're going to have people call in, you know, hopefully one at a time. So if you do want to call in, and I already have the first caller who is um, Rebecca. Um, if you do want to call in, I'll let you know when to call in. Just say your, your name and I want to call in so I can kind of try to stay in order. The good thing about this is not yet, Rebecca, not yet. <laughs> I'm going to talk for a little bit. <laughs> Um, the good thing about this is that, um, when uh, people who are out of the, um, country can use WhatsApp to call me. So please just in the like little chat section, let me know a couple quick announcements and, um, it, I do this at the beginning of every show, and I kind of want to stay consistent with it. So the first thing that I want to say is please don't get scammed. I will never reach out to anybody in any comments, especially on social media, and uh, say, hey, get you need this or that. The second thing is I do not do messaging on anything. I do not do messaging on Facebook. I, I'm not even on Twitter or X anymore, on TikTok, on um, any, any of those things, because the moment I open up messaging, there's over 100 a day, which is in and of itself extremely overwhelming. But then most of them are just pure malarkey. I mean, just pure monarchy. Mon yeah, that's what they are. Like, how many pee shots can one person see? Too many. I'm going to just say this. You guys are flexing a lot of things you shouldn't be flexing. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Before you send that out, ask a friend if it is photo worthy. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I'm trying to be funny there, but seriously. So I will never reach out to you on a message on social media. I will never reach out to you on anything and say you need something. So please don't be scammed. That's that's my whole thing there. We're going to go straight to names because somebody has been giving me this name like all day long. All day long. Okay. And then I'm hearing that song all night long, all night, all night. Okay. Lionel Richie. But the name I'm hearing now, when I say names, they could be your name. They could be the name of somebody above. So if this is your name or somebody like a sister, brother, blah, blah, blah's name, or somebody you lost and they're in heaven it could be their name so the first name is miriam and miriam has been all day she's just saying if this is miriam or you're miriam i've just been hearing miriam 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 all day long if there's someone in the chat that this person belongs to please please let me know the next name i'm hearing is uh joshua the next name is joseph the next name i'm hearing is uh luke the next name I'm hearing is Miranda. The next name I'm hearing is Beth. And then I hear Bethany. They could be two different people, but that's 
but they could be the same person. The next person I'm hearing is Janine. And then the last name I'm going to say for right now is Anne, just Anne, okay? Throughout the show, because we are having so many difficulties with the calling, I'm going to please ask people to call in respectfully one at a time. Um, and I'll tell you when to call and who should call in. Now, when I say this number, please don't, don't all call in. Please don't. Don't all call in because I can only answer one at a time on here. So the first person that's going to call in is going to be uh, Rebecca. Rebecca, you can call in now. Rebecca has my number already. She can call in. And then the next person who wants to be able to call in, I'll give out the number when when um, when Re Rebecca is done. I'll give out that number and then we can move on to that person. So uh, here's Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca, what's going on? Hi, Tony. It's Rebecca from Arizona. Let me take you off the speaker. Thank you so much. How have Thank you been? You. Okay, so I have a question. Yeah, go right ahead. Okay. Um, my question is, my son's house, his name is Junior, and there's a lot of things that are going on in the house. Let me give you an example. I was in the restroom, yeah. and... I was locked inside the restroom. Nobody was home, but the door was locked. I didn't think anything about it. But then my other son went to visit him. He goes, mom, someone locked me in the restroom in Junior's house. And then stuff's falling from the wall. And then previously, way before that, my grandson said, grandma, I'm hearing the name John. I think he said the name John in his toy section. I'm like, huh? I'm like okay yeah. i didn't make a big deal about it but i'm like is this something dangerous is it okay <laughs> no it's on? not okay oh. it's not okay <laughs> if someone is locking literally locking you in a bathroom it is not okay <laughs> yeah, i'm was sorry scary, but at the same time i'm like no let me <laughs> finally like, let me go Yes. Yeah. Um, so, okay. The first thing I'm going to do here is we're not going to worry about who it is, why it is, what it is. We're not those people who need to do the deep dive. We just say we're going to get her gone. Okay. Uh -huh. So for your son's house I is clear. I get a note. We're going to start clearing that. And I get there's um, a couple tricksters there. It's unclear. So we're going to clear that. Um, and then for ever, you know what, for everybody, everybody listening, watching, we're going to clear your home. Now they won't take like your mom, your grandpa, they're not going to, mm. they're going to take the, the, what doesn't, the energies that do not belong. So here we go. Um, and we're going to just have angels come in and take all that does not um, belong and clear it out. And it's so funny, um, you, if it's your home and you hear like a thunk on the wall or something like a little, then you know, <laughs> you know, so, you know, they're going, it's going. Okay. Cause sometimes they, I always say, sometimes they leave with a bang. Sometimes they do not. Um, sometimes they just get swooshed out and these are just energies. Now I'm going to tell you while we're clearing this, I'm going to tell you guys a little, I love my neighbors. I have like the, I live in the best neighborhood. I have the most amazing, kindest neighbors and there's some activity in our area and, um, one day I had this big bouquet of roses and I had it up in front of a um, window and I was taking pictures of the roses and um, <laughs> I caught part of the door of my neighbor and there or a window, a door or the window, whatever it was. And there was a woman's face in it. And I was like, huh, <laughs> I, 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 that's, 
that's yeah i i just don't think that's uh, yeah oh, so yeah. so there you know sometimes it is like grandma who's already uh -huh. passed and hanging but sometimes it is not so we're clearing this now and uh -huh. um well, it's un it's at we half of it is done. So Rebecca, we're going to keep letting this clear for you for everybody else. If anybody's hearing thunking or feeling a pulling or any of that stuff, please comment on the chat and let me know. You might just feel lighter. And this also happens. I'm going to tell you this. This also happens. Once these things start to go, your house can visibly look lighter and feel lighter and the tension can be relieved from you. Like you won't feel like, you know, that tension on the back of your neck or in your back or whatever it is, you will not feel that. It will be relieved. Okay. So I'm okay. also going to say your home, we're going to just add to it, your home and everybody in it. Okay. is clear and unclear let's oh, let's get those where they go okay rebecca thank you so much for calling in i'm so uh so thank grateful you, that you called in so grateful that you shared this and i know everybody on blog talk um not blog talk everybody listening and watching are also very grateful because now they get clearings too and if you come back and listen to this again let's say in a week or two uh -huh. weeks you can re-clear your house with this statement again um it will be just as effective as if i were saying it the first time so you guys save this show and come back and use it to clear your home whenever you need especially and i'm going to say this especially after you've had a lot of guests in your home or people who are partaking in party type things in your home. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Thank you Tony. Absolutely, my pleasure. Thank you so much, Rebecca, okay. for calling in. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna give you, oopsie, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna give you guys the call in number, just one person, please call in. First, I'm gonna say, um, <clears throat> hi, Joanna. Um, Dion, hey Dion, Aaron, um, hey Heather, how are you? Uh, Timothy, thank you so much for the compliment. That's really, that's very, very kind of you. Um, yeah, Jay Francis, uh, blog talk is still not up and running appropriately. I'm really sorry about that, you guys. Very, very, very sorry. Uh, Joanna says she felt pulling, felt like uh, did have something in the house. Yeah, it, it happens. It happens. Hey, Mystic Raven, how are you? Um, okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give the number, whoever wants to call in and can dial the fastest, I guess, 414-897-2869 is the number to call tonight. Now, having said that, once I take one caller, everybody stop calling when I'm done with that caller. Here we go. Um, then I'll get the next person to call in. Uh, this is Tony. Hi, Tony. It's Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. How are you? I'm good. It's nice to see you. Ah, thanks. You too. Jennifer, you're sounding just a little bit muffled. If you have me on speaker or something like that, could you um, could you take it off a of speaker? And the next person, um, I'll take you, Dion, I'll take you next. Let me do the, uh, Jennifer right now god i can't wait for a uh, blog talk to get back up again okay <laughs> jennifer uh jennifer how can i help you today okay i have a question regarding uh things are changing at work so i'm wondering if i'm going to be at the same job and say 
a year's time, or do you see transitioning maybe to a different line of work? Okay. A year down the line, no. I hear six months there's going to be a transition if you want it. If if you want it, okay? Um, you are going to have the opportunity to transition within the company, but I think... Is she going to go outside? Yeah, I feel like there's going to be an opportunity also outside of the company. Now, six months puts us at June, Jennifer. And when we get to June, something's going to pop up. Now, I hear May and then I hear June. Now, remember, six months is the timeline. So maybe it gets offered in May and then you jump on it in June. I feel like... Whatever you do, wherever you go from here, I feel like somebody offers it to you or tells you about it. I don't feel like you are like looking for it. I feel like you are... Um, what I really, well, what I really feel like is whatever comes, it just kind of lands in your lap. That's the way I'm going to say it. Okay, Jennifer. And that's going to happen right around that six month mark. But in May, something's going to happen that it's May and then June. Okay. That's what I can tell you. Watch for those months. Okay, my love. All right. Thank you very much, Tony. Take care. Happy oh, Christmas. You too. Oh, Merry Christmas. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I will be doing a show on Christmas, everybody. I will. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Jennifer. Thank you. thank you. Okay. Dion, go ahead and call back now and I will take your call. Please make sure if you are calling me, you turn down the volume on whatever you're listening and please have a clear connection like take me off of speakerphone and such uh dion if you want to call back you can and then um while i'm waiting for dion terry asked about an exam she's taking in at uh, an exam she's taking it's going to go well it's going to be much more difficult than you think so please note that there's going to be like, I don't want to say something tricky. I want to say it's there's something in the exam you're not expecting. So like if it's normally multiple choice, they might have you write out answers or something. I don't know what it is, Terry, but you're going to have it. But you're going to be thrown a little bit by the exam itself. Don't let that um, bother you. Okay, next caller is Dion. Oh, hey, Hey, Dion. How are you today? I'm good. Hi, Tony. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Thank you. How can I help you, love? Okay, so you're really good at connecting with my um, friend Aaron that passed away. And um, I've, I've been actively working on his case, but still no arrests have been made. And I'm just trying, I would like to check in with him and see if he can tell me when there's going to be some law enforcement action or anything else he wants to tell me. How, um, Deanne, please forgive me for not remembering all of the details of this. Uh, how long ago, how long ago did this happen? A year ago. Okay, thank you. Um, new evidence has to be brought forward because right now they've exhausted all of the options, but something is going to come in in a month. And I feel like, um, let me correct that. Something is going to happen within a month, within a month that is going to give like new breath to this. And here's what I want to say, either it could be any of these things. For example, another crime is committed just like the one that, just like his or with the same weapon, or for example, 
I see somebody sitting like this is what I see. Okay, I'm good. I'm just going to tell you what I see. I see somebody sitting in, um, I think it's called an interrogation room. And I can see this person clear as freaking day. I could describe this person to the cops, kind of. I'm horrible at describing people. I could describe what they're wearing. And this person, <clears throat> I'm going to say, may not be the person who committed this crime, but they may know who did and use that as leverage for whatever's going on with them. Okay. So for example, if this person gets in trouble and gets pulled in to get out, <laughs> I hear I'm not a rat if they don't find out. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like I'm, I didn't, I'm, not, oh, I'm not a rat if they don't find out. I, yeah, like like this person says, like this person's way of thinking is I didn't snitch if nobody knows. <laughs> if nobody knows, I'm like if nobody knows I said this, then it wasn't me. So this person is literally going someone. As of right now, as of right now, Dion, as of right now, now things can change. As of right now, if this person ends up in the room, it will give them something new to go on. They've exhausted everything they have right now. So as soon, oh, oh okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So six months time. In six months time, you might see some movement on this. Um, and here's what I'm going to say to you, Dion. Sometimes they know who did the crime. Oh, am I not supposed to say this? Um. I don't know. I'm just going to say it. I feel like if I heard it and I saw it, I can say it. Sometimes they know who committed a crime and they, they have the evidence, but they've been watching this person and they're going after what they consider either a bigger person or a bigger case. And then once they get that, then they take them down for everything. I don't know if that makes sense to you in this case. But whatever it is, they can't pull this piece out because it's an important piece of a bigger puzzle. I hope that makes sense to you, Dion. Yeah, I wanted to tell you the last time you, last time I was able to connect with you over YouTube or whatever, you actually mentioned the people's names when you were giving the names that were involved in the case, but I could I didn't want to say anything that day. And um, the person that you saw in the interrogation room, can I ask if that person was a male and was wearing hair braids? Um, that person is a male and might at some time. I'm going to tell you what I saw now that you said that. That person is a male. That person probably does wear braids at some point in time, but in this particular moment, the hair was kind of not braided and was wearing a very co colorful jacket, like one of those very colorful, just a very, all I can say is a very colorful jacket. I know who that is. And yeah, just so you know, you did say at one point, but, and they were not easy names to pronounce. And so you're amazing. Thank you oh so gosh. much for taking my call. No, they were difficult names and you, you spit them all out. <laughs> I, I was blown away. <laughs> Thank you for the confirmation. Uh, what, what I always say 
Heaven can do what we cannot. And I have so much faith in the information that comes through. I will tell you this person, this particular person with this jacket that has colors like splotches on it. Um, if they haven't said this already, they're about to, and they're about to say it within a month. And then in six months, hopefully, but we'll see because there's, if I'm getting this correctly, there may be a bigger, what they consider to be a bigger catch that they're trying to close out before they take this because if they take this it'll mess up the other thing does that make sense to you love yep okay good gotcha i gotcha i gotcha <laughs> yes i love when that happens everybody i love that yay for spirit yay for spirit okay i am a dork i don't care i am a dork i'm good with being a dork thank you so much dion for the confirmation thank you for calling back in and um aaron that's the name right aaron yes okay wants you to know um that i'm at peace and um don't worry it's all coming out it's all gonna come out and then some okay wow thank you you are welcome and uh if you're writing a book on this keep writing if you're not start it now okay love i already wrote the first <laughs> book and the second one is i i i started the second one so i will continue to the, on the second one awesome don't thank let you that, very much you are don't so what? Uh, don't let that book go, okay, love? Don't let it okay. go. Okay. Thank okay. you so much, love. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye for now. Okay, you guys. Um, I am using my phone tonight because blog talk is down, so only one person can call in at a time, and I apologize for that. Um, if you, I'm going to answer Elizabeth question and then i'm going to take another caller so elizabeth wants to know hey tony will my college friend that's now in the military be home for christmas will we see one another during the christmas you know um elizabeth i'm getting a very soft Yes, like a slow yes. So I don't know if it's going to be right at Christmas, but it might be some somewhere around that time. Um, as of right now, if nothing else goes, mm, I feel like they will be, but it was a very soft yes. Like it's not so, it's not solid yet. It's not solid yet. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Mystic Raven. Um, okay, so the call in number, if you want to call in and ask a question, and I'm sorry, I can take one and then we have to wait till the next one comes through is 414-897, not till the next one comes through, but until I'm done with that one, till I can take another. Oh, we've got one. We've got one. <laughs> Here we go. Um, this is Tony. Hi, this is Joanna. Hey, Joanna. <laughs> Thank you for calling in. I'm so happy you guys know the number. So I, I, I usually like I can just push a button and everybody's on. And boy, I am sweating tonight for this show and trying to like all the moving parts and trying to make sure I get people. So. Thank you guys so much for being patient and working with me. Okay. Uh, what's your question? How can I help you tonight? Okay. Thank you so, so much for taking my call. I yeah. very much appreciate yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Um, I'm, I'm kind of in a, uh, wow, distress and panic. Uh, we had new owners take over our apartment community and they have given us nothing but problems. And now they're claiming that 
I, my rent is paid by housing and now they're claiming my rent was never paid and then they're claiming again it was of course it was and now they won't they are refusing to talk to me they're refusing to respond back to me and i'm like freaking out i'm like what are they up to because um uh, and i'm like do i need to get an attorney you know i don't know what's what is going on because they still have not credited my rent of course it's been paid and of course you know housing has the proof um so i don't know what is going on if they're trying to pull something turn over the property uh, you know i don't know what's going on in other words okay here's what i'm going to say to you um here's what i'm going to say i feel like i hear that song I know I'm not the only one. So I feel like you're not the only one. So this is what could be going on. There's there's a choice of three things here that really could be going on. It could be one and or all of them. The first one is the old owners have not transferred the funds or have not. Like the new owners have this, but they're not. Their accounting system, thank you so much. Their accounting system is not validating the right boxes, if I can say it that way. Second, yes. they are trying to turn people over. So because they might see, here's the deal. Oh, that is that is crazy, slick, stupid. Crazy on their part. They think they're slick, but they're really stupid, crazy, slick, stupid. They might think by saying that you have, because, okay, when they took over, what they might be wanting to do, and uh, oh, there's so much flooding in, I can't get a sentence out, and I apologize. Okay, I'm going to talk. Please bear with me. Um, what they might want to do as the new owners is turn the building over into a different type of building or system or whatever. So they might be kind of harassing people because they know they can't, they can't kick people out that are in housing. They can't do it. There's a contract in place. Even if they didn't make that contract, they have to honor the contract of the old owners. They have to, the, the contract goes with the building, not with the owner. This is what I'm hearing. I don't know about law. I'm just telling you what I'm hearing. Okay. I think they knew when they bought the property, the contract came with it. Okay. And they can't just boot people. So they feel, they might feel that if they do this, people will end up moving because they can't force people to move because there's a contract in place. Now, if they're not doing that, they're just very disorganized. And I don't feel like they're that disorganized. As long as you have proof and you have the validation from the, the organization that paid them and you take it to them and you simply say to them, this is the evidence that it was paid. If you cannot find that that payment, that's on your end, not my end. This is the person you contact and and do that with a certified letter and or email. Do not talk to them. Do not verbally get on the phone with them because you have no proof or evidence. Then put everything in an email with a carbon copy to the person in charge of the person whoever told you that it's paid. Put put her in the email, send the email with the evidence or the proof and watch how quickly things go. Now, if they don't, it's because they, they are, they might be trying to do something that might not be whatever. Now, if they try to Let's just say they get to a point where they're like, we have not received your rent. We're going to, you know, evict you. Once you get to court and you have all the evidence, they will not be able to do that. But it will be very harassing. Yes. And that's a key word in the meantime. From this moment forward, you only use emails and text messages. 
no verbal communication because you're going to need th that you proved it was paid. You're going to need to show that you showed them the evidence. If you do, you will have all of that. Does that make sense to you, love? Yes. Yes, it does. Oh, yes. Thank goodness. Every oh, yes. Yes. I don't want to keep you long, but yes, everything you said, and I wondered as well, right, are they doing this to get people to a point, right, because they can't evict me because I'm on housing, right? Um, right. So I wonder if they were, right, trying to force people out by getting frustrated like me and say, you know what, I've had enough, I need to move. Exactly, right, with, yes. with what they're doing, right? But I have started, right, I've done everything in text messages and emails. So and it, it, hasn't, it hasn't gotten to the point yet with my counselor to actually – because I was going to ask them to write email the actual, you know, proof, proof from their accounting, you know, that it was paid. I'm like, that was my last, you know, step, step. If they were still going to keep claiming it wasn't paid when it was. Yes, exactly. So here's, here's what I'm going to say is um, I feel like these people might think they can get a lot more rent under a different circumstance. But what they might not realize is they may be breaking some federal laws if they yes. try to push forward on this. So if or when the time comes, there is a such thing. And a lot of states are landlords, uh, are tenant states over landlord states. I live in a tenant state where if you own property, they always side with the tenant. They can be, and I know this from personal experience, they can be a pill sniffing addict and you can't get them out. And I know that from per they could have left you from personal experience. I know they could have left you crayon written notes saying, please evict me. And that is not evidence in court in a tenant favored state. Yeah. Anyway, that's why I am no longer a landlord. Anyway, um, I am going to say that when they're dealing with a, a, a system, like a housing system, and a, um, which is once, once they receive, here's what a lot of people don't realize. And this is all going to go, I'm, I'm just going to, oopsie, pushing my books aside. Here's what I'm going to say. And a lot of people don't realize this. All these loans that people took out during the whatever. And this, once funds from the government go from one account to another account, and you claim something that is not true, anything that is not true, it automatically becomes a federal offense. Why? Because banking is federal. Yes. Anything banking, folks, listen up. Anything banking, all these Venmos, Cash Me's, blah, 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 all federal. Because once something goes into or out of a bank, a bank is considered federal. The FDIC, federal. So whatever you do, it's now a federal charge. Don't play. Don't play with that. Just do not play with that. So in your case, if they have received the funds, they're saying they have not received the funds and they try to remove anyone in the premises or property on that, that is federal. The housing authority will probably go after them, but then tenants can also sue them because yes. they're, they're being malice and harassing. And that's what I have for you. <sighs> Thank you very much. Bless you so, so much and happy holidays. Thank you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Hey, happy Hanukkah to everybody that is um, listening. Merry Christmas to everybody. If you celebrate Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate, just celebrate and enjoy it. Thank you so much, love. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you are. Bye -bye. Bye-bye. Okay, next caller. Don't call in for a second because I have to make this announcement. You guys, I am so excited and honored because guess what? I have a live event. Yep. In 
Daytona in February. So I live where it's typically cold. Mm -hmm. So in February, when we're just about sick of the ice and the snow here, um, I'm going to be in Daytona doing a live event at the Cinematique at 8. It's at, on February 2nd, 2024 at 8 p.m. Um, if you're in the Daytona area, you want to get away and go to the Daytona area area and be at the show. Happy to have you. I may live stream it. I have to figure out a few things for it. I'm going to have books there, um, copies of my books that I can sign for people. I'm hopefully going to have my newest book done. Chances are. <laughs> chances are you got, I have to tell you guys I just have to tell you I have 2500 2500 things to put in this book they're good but oh my goodness I'm gonna have to hone that in and bring it down and all the good stuff okay anyway Okay, um, so February 2nd, 2024, I'm going to be at the Cinematique in Daytona, Florida. Please, if you're in Florida, if you're near there, around there, please come join me there. It will be, um, it'll be a good show. It's going to, I'm going to be um, doing the same thing I do here, connecting with people on the other side and answering questions and all that good stuff. Okay. Here we go. Um, yeah, uh, Elizabeth, if you're working a lot, maybe he, maybe your friend is going to be here, but you just won't be able to, to connect with them. Uh, as thank you, uh, Mystic Raven. I'm so happy you're able to, um, to join me too. Uh, my dog passed away yesterday. Oh gosh. Raven, I am so sorry. That is, that was, I still can't, I had to, and I still can't because of that. Like, I can't go through that again. I can't go through losing again. Um, do you have a message from him? I hope he crossed over and I wonder if he's fine. Any signs from him that he will give me? Okay. What was his name? And did he have a longer like a longer straight tail um what was its name because I see a dog like just you know how some dogs they have that tail that can just hit so hard Raven I see that um please tell me his name and while you're telling me his name Raven I'm gonna tell people um when um now, I can't tell stories about my dogs yet. I can't. It's just, it's it's been a couple of years, but I still will get really sad if I tell stories uh, about them. His name is Juget. Ju Juget. Ju Juget. Was his tail longer? You're saying he has a curly tail. Does was it like a little tail or what? Oh, it's who get who get that who get who get that. I'm sorry, I'm I'm mispronouncing it. Okay, here's what I'm going to tell you, Raven. There is more than one dog around you. There is. I don't know if uh, um, I see a dog that is. Um, Oh, his tail is long. Okay, then never mind. Then this is probably him. Because I see this long tail that is just smacking and I'm only seeing the back end, just the tail like wagging, being just that tail is just a wagon like my fingers. Um, happy, happy and at peace. Um, he went, he crossed, he, this morning he early, early morning between one and three, he went and came back. It's very quick for animals. It's very quick for animals. Okay. 
Now I'm going to tell you something, Mystic Raven, and I hope this helps you. When they're here, whatever their dog or human form is, when they cross over and come back to us, to people like me who can see them, we'll see them the way you remember them so we can describe them. But they oftentimes turn into their true spirit self, which is like this huge wolf or huge dragon type of um, pet. Many cats, when we have these cute little kitties, the reason they're so mean is because their true spirit is like bigger than a panther, okay? <laughs> Cats aren't mean. Please don't be offended by that. I'm sorry. But their their true spirit size is huge. I mean, they come up to their back comes at least up to our, you know, chest area in spirit size. When they're in spirit, they transform into these really huge, big, beasty spirits. And they're from then. I think uh, Max and Bella, my two babies who were tiny are part of my protection team now because they're huge, huge spirit um, dogs or animals now. And they, I see them often. Sometimes I see them in their little hairless Chinese crested worm. And other times I see them in this huge like dragon type of um, form. If you believe it, you believe it. If you don't, it's okay. It's okay. Whatever is most comfortable. Um, his signs for you are going to be. <laughs> his toots. Um, and if I have to say that another way, his gas. <laughs> like, I don't feel like he, maybe he didn't have gas all the time but when he had stinky gas he really had stinky gas when you smell that <laughs> that's one confirmation that he's around and also i'm just getting the scent like his scent is going to be around you um like you're going to walk through his scent at times and that's how you're going to know um, that's what I'm getting for you. And also like, I don't know if he like did the woo, woo, woo thing, but I'm getting that also. You might hear that like if, but here's what, okay. Thank you. If you hear that even from another dog, that is a sign that he's with you. Okay. If someone would like to call in the call in number tonight, and I'm again, I apologize that blog talk is um, having complications. If you would like to call in, the number is 414-897-2869. Um, we'll see if somebody calls in. If they do, great. If not, I'll do songs and I'll do um, I'll do more connections. Um, so Terry, I feel like there's going to be something, you're going to pass this exam, Terry, don't worry, you are going to pass this exam. I'm going to tell you, there's one thing on the exam that kind of throws you a little bit, you're going to get through it. And it might be, I don't know, Terry, if they're going to have I don't know if for the new year they're going to change the test or they're going to have like whatever it is. There's something you you might think you're not ready for it, but you're going to be ready for it. You're going to be just fine. I'm going to tell you. Um, <laughs> yeah, Mystic Raven says at the end he was gassy. <laughs> Yeah, so that's going to be, well, there's a confirmation right there that I tapped into your baby. Um, I'm going to tell you he is going to be very, very much around you all the time, okay? All the time, all the time, all the time. Um, and right now, for the first step, 
he is the size, he's showing me he is the size of a horse. And that will stay that way for six months. And then after six months, his size might get bigger. Okay. Now this is his, when you see him or feel him like on the bed or, cause he's gonna like be on you still. He won't be that size, but his spirit size is like the size of a horse. Okay. Just so that you know that. Um, but he, he, the size of a horse, but more um, like horses can be very protective, right? Yes, of course. Um, so yes, okay, okay. If I missed a question, please put another question in the chat. And um, if, uh, okay, yeah, let's do that. So you guys, we're coming up on Christmas on Monday. I am go going to do a show on Monday. Do you guys think, sh uh, should I do it at my normal time of noon? Or I was thinking of pushing it back to one or two because people have so many things going on like in the earlier part of the day. What do you guys think? Let me know when is a good time for me to do the show on Christmas Day. I'm going to call it Christmas Connections, and hopefully Blog Talk will be open by then. If not, we'll do Christmas Connections here, and we will, you know, connect with loved ones on the other side for Christmas, uh, whether it be a family member that was a furry family member or a actual skin family member. I, I know I didn't say that right, but it's okay. You guys get me. Um, one or two. So far I have a, somebody saying one or two. Um, I was thinking that too. Um, the other thing is uh, I want to do some clearings for Christmas get-togethers because we're, we're less than a week out. We're getting together with family and exchanging, possibly exchanging gifts. So all of our holiday get-togethers will be harmonious. Let's make sure that's a yes. Um, there will be gratitude and love with every, well, as much gratitude and love as possible. Thank you for the correction. Yes. Um, okay, that's good. The next thing I want to say... <laughs> Um, that, okay, really quick. Okay, first, before I go into possible New Year's businesses, I want to say, uh, should I do a New Year's Eve show or a New Year's Day show? And then possible businesses. Here we go. For the New Year, new businesses, um, one of the things I'm getting is a lot of people are going to decide that they're going to start looking at business opportunities. And I think that is the most beautiful, perfect way we can go for 2024. I think anybody who starts a business in 2024, schedule a session with me. We'll talk about marketing. We'll talk about how to get this going and, excuse me, running very, very strong and in a positive way. And some of the things I'm seeing are going to be to cater to events and or parties like if do you know okay thank you do you know how when people have a children's party and they rent bouncy houses somebody owns those bouncy houses and rents them out mm -hmm. that's a whole business right there that's a whole business right there um just like people rent tents and tables and chairs people rent out bouncy houses, but what I'm seeing is um, catering businesses, bar, um, anything for events and or uh, like backyard weddings, backyard graduations, birthday parties, retirement parties, anything you want to do for that is going to explode in 2024. It's going to be just so huge so huge the next type tra transportation transportation anything you want to do 
in 2024 and you can start getting the schematics together now. Anything you do in 2024 that involves transportation is going to take off. Anything in home, decorating, remodeling, anything with homes, landscaping, decorating, remodeling. Um, I don't understand that. Up, upscaling homes or making homes bigger. Finding ways to bring more value or a higher value to people's homes is going to be huge in 2024. Huge. I, and a lot of these things you can start, like if somebody caters a party, you can be the person who just brought the cupcakes because you have a phenomenal cupcake business and you can ship those cupcakes in. You don't have to do the whole, this is important for someone. This is important for someone. You don't have to do the whole catering job, but you can do the part that, of the cupcake or the cakes or the the donuts or the whatever it is. You can do that. Um, entertainment at private events is going to be huge. Entertainment for children and entertainment for uh, games and such for adults. <laughs> games and such for adults. Um, and entertainment, like if you if you have a a comedic show or a band or whatever it is, any type of um, entertainment, people are going to start moving venues to their home rather than being locked into a place where you have to do their food, their stuff and pay for everything. They're just going to have it at their home. They're going to start. That's going to be really big in 2024. Um, so please look into that. And then the one more One more type, give me one more business for the people listening. Okay. I know I talk about this a lot and I am going to say it again, beauty business on the go. So find out what licensing you need and make sure you're safe always. But if you are a somebody who does beauty and you can... Uh, show up at somebody's place or their their office or whatever it is. So rather than paying rent for a business office, you're taking the business to them as long as it's doable. That's going to be really, really big in 24 also. People are going to be spending money in a different way. They're going to want things in their home. So if you can show up at their home to let's just for example cut their hair do their face treatment their 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 body treatment whatever it is um those are going to be things that are going to take off in 2024 those types of businesses are going to really take off in 2024 okay everybody Thank you for sticking with me for the show. I'm so sorry again about blog talk, even though I'm not responsible for that. Hopefully by Monday, blog talk will have everything figured out and we'll have our call log back. Hey, Michael, how are you? And we will be able to do the show normally again, but I kind of like this tonight. I kind of really like this show and Monday's show. You guys, if you did not see Monday's show, amazing channeling on there, amazing channeling. Okay, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here with me. I will be back Monday at noon. Oh, Monday is Christmas. I'll be back um, on Monday with a show. Thank you again and have an amazing rest of the night and an amazing weekend. And if you are going out and you are celebrating, going to family, friends, please be, be mindful, watch your surroundings and be very careful while you're out and about. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much.